Hello friends, I'm Pastor Robert Abner and I serve Lutheran Church of the Cross in Muncie, Indiana and Grace Village, the Lutheran Episcopal Presbyterian Campus Ministry at Ball State University. Good to be with you again, friends, as I bring you some uh, weekly devotions during this time of pandemic to keep us grounded in our faith, but also to keep us in some sense of community as we remember that even though we are not meeting in the church building, we know that we are the church and we are the church together, building God's kingdom in the world. Just a little something out of the ordinary today, you know, we've done, uh, we did St. Um, Claire earlier this week, and we've done some discussions in the last couple of weeks of write-in questions. And so today, just want to keep it light, keep it short with an Irenaeus midday prayer. And that comes from uh, this book that I really like, that I picked up at Half Price Books. Um, I don't even know if it's available in America, because the only price on the back is in pounds, and it was bought in the UK. And so someone turned it into Half Price Books, and it became my treasure to discover. And so it is Celtic Worship Through the Year. And I've been reading up on some history lately, and, and been in a Celtic state of mind. And so I thought, you know what? Let's take from that today as I look. And I found this midday prayer from Arrhenius and... Irenaeus was an early church leader in Celtic Gaul, and he taught that the glory of God is seen in a human life fully lived. So, let's go through just this short midday prayer of St. Irenaeus, and it's a prayer, and there's some small readings, and uh, yeah, just hit pause on your day, and take some deep breaths, close your eyes, and prepare your hearts just to hear um, the gospel of our Lord, but to also share in these prayers, and so... Um, as I like to do, take some deep breaths, breathe in the spirit of the Lord and exhale the worries and the problems of the day. So just take a few deep breaths. Let us pray. Glory to God above, glory to Christ beside, glory to the Spirit within. Amen. Lord, come and put a glory in my work today. Come and put a shine on the noontime fray. May the glory come now and from the heavens high. The glory come to me, the glory come nigh. Amen. I invite you to listen and hear a reading of a portion from Psalm number 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majesty is seen in all the world. What is a human being that you care for her so much? You made him second only to yourself. You crowned her with glory and honor. O Lord, our Lord, your majesty is seen in all the world. Let us pray. May the glory of God be seen in work that is done from the heart. May the glory of God be seen in commerce that meets true needs. May the glory of God be seen in communication that ennobles the spirit. May the glory of God be seen in clean and honest living. May the glory of God be seen in the delights of sexual union. May the glory of God be seen in the athlete who goes all out. May the glory of God be seen in beauty of art and form. May the glory of God be seen in architecture that inspires. May the glory of God be seen in the pursuit of true learning. May the glory of God be seen in the stature of waiting. May the glory of God be seen in the grace of unknowing. And may the glory of God be seen in the dignity of humbling. Amen. I invite you to hear a reading from 2 Corinthians. We reflect like mirrors the glory of the Lord. The Lord, who is the Spirit, transforms us in ever-increasing glory into God's image. There are varieties of work, but the same Spirit gives work for everyone to do. Each person is given a gift by God's Spirit to use for the common good of all.
and hear this sending as we wrap up this small time of prayer. Now may the glory of God be in my working. May the glory of God be in my speaking. May the glory of God be in my eating. The glory of God in my resting. The glory of God in my thinking. The glory of God in my looking. The glory of God in my listening. The glory of God in my traveling. The glory of God in my crying. The glory of God in my loving. And the glory of God in this present moment. And now may the arms of the glorious three be around those who shall we shall work with. And may the glorious three pour lovingly and generously upon us and upon all who are with us, hour by hour. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this time of prayer. It's nice to take a little time out of our day to give our devotion and our glory to God. And I'm glad we have that opportunity to do so together, even if it is over the internet, because God's work works through all mediums, whether we are in person or far apart, and we give thanks to God for that. And may the Lord bless you and keep you until we gather again. Amen.